you know, of course, as you talk about the the role of U, the, the U.S. involvement is of critical importance here for the United States. And the argument you make is that we should not be involved in Ukraine, at least to the degree we are, we being the United States, uh, and we should not be involved in Israel to the degree we are, because it's stretching us too thin. When uh, the big geopolitical contender in the 21st century with the United States is China. Is that a correct summary? Yeah, I, I think just on Ukraine, we should not have pushed Ukraine to join NATO. Sure. Uh, and once the war started, we should have worked overtime to shut it down immediately. Yeah. March. Yeah. Uh, March, right. And, uh, and you remember, by the way, not to go back to Ukraine in great detail, in the fall, early fall of 2022, the war starts February 2022, there's March 2022, which we've talked about, which is the negotiations. In the fall of 2022, I think it was in September, uh, the uh, Ukrainians had won two major tactical victories, one in Kherson and the other in Kharkiv. Mm -hmm. And at that point in time, General Milley, who was the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said, now is the time to negotiate because this is the high water mark for the Ukrainians. Yeah. Milley understood that things were only gonna get worse. And the White House shut Milley down and said, we're not negotiating. So we have blown a number of opportunities here to head this problem off at the pass. Uh, and, uh, but that's my view there. And uh, with regard to the Israelis, my only point about Israel is that it would be better for Israel and better for the United States if we, the United States, <laughs> were in, was in a position, the United States was in a position to put pressure on Israel from time to time. As Steve and I say in the book, we should be able to treat Israel like a normal country, right? The fact is that countries sometimes do stupid things. Mm -hmm. This includes the United States and Israel. And if Israel is pursuing a policy that we think is unwise, we should be in a position where we could put pressure on Israel. Yeah, That's our argument, right? But anyway, we goofed both with regard to Ukraine and with regard to the Middle East, and we're now up to our eyeballs in alligators in both of those regions. And as you described my view, this is not good because the area of the most strategic importance for the United States today is East Asia, and that's because China is there, and China is the most serious threat the United States faces.